Hey, hey, my beautiful, awesome, rad peeps. Welcome back and share from Adventures with Disabilities. So come on, guys. Come roll along with me today. We are going on an adventure today. Woo! Come on, guys. Come on. Come on over. Roll along with me for this adventure. Do you want to know where my adventure is taking me today? My couch. You probably can't see my couch behind me, but that is where I'm at today. My couch. Today, our adventure is taking you to my lovely couch. You're probably wondering, why in the heck is Ange invisible today? Well, you can't see me. Because I wanted to help you understand how multiple sclerosis, which I have, is mostly an invisible illness that you cannot see. But boy, can I sure feel it. Unless I am using a walker, a wheelchair, a cane, or I have a limp that day, you probably wouldn't even know I have the disease. It is very well hidden from the outside of the world. But inside my body today, it is roaring like crazy. You'll notice behind me, we have lots of gray skies. There's a storm brewing here, which we desperately need. But the problem with storms is the barometric pressure changing. When the barometric pressure decides to change due to storms, my MS decides to ramp up inside my body and it's just as turmoil as the storm that's coming today. I can feel it in every part of my body. My left leg is going numb, tingly, vibrating. My left arm's doing similar. I feel very weak today. And I am also tired and fatigued because I am due to this to take my medication. That's my medication box. Ah. And I am due to take that MS medication shot tomorrow, which I have desperately been needing. I can definitely tell it is time for me to take it. Let's rewind to my adventure yesterday. I didn't film it because I was having a fantastic time with family. I have some of the raddest cousins in the world. I freaking love those guys. They are the best. So some of us went on a motorcycle adventure yesterday. We went about 17 miles through a canyon up to Hardware Ranch and came back home. Although it wasn't a very long distance, I cannot ride on a motorcycle for very long due to multiple sclerosis, my back problem and having two hip surgeries. It's very hard to get on and off the motorcycle, but it's also very hard to ride for a long period of time. I'll show you some pictures of our fun adventure because we didn't, well, didn't really think about filming it. So today, <clears throat> I am feeling some effects from that. After I got off the motorcycle yesterday, my leg was killing me. My hip was just not having it. We have a sport bike. It's a 1000 cc Honda. Fun fact, I used to own a scooter that's only 150 cc. And I could beat my husband off the starting line at a red light on my 150cc scooter and him on his 1000cc motorcycle. You guys, not only was it hilarious, but I was like, holy cow, that's 
funny and awesome that I would beat you on my dinky little scooter. I used to own my own dirt bike and I owned my own scooter. <clears throat> and I would ride my scooter from my house to my work and back to my house again. Well, actually, it was an apartment, but whatever. It was my house at the time. And I loved riding the scooter. I could take corners, like, so awesome. It was, I mean, it was so much fun. And I have lots of memories of doing that. And I used to have my own dirt bike. And my husband had his own dirt bike. And we would bomb up in the canyons on those things. And it was the greatest time of my life. Not only do I love having adventures, but I love all sorts of fun, fantastic things. I love motorcycles. I love arcades. I love adventures. I love trains. I love that you guys, there are so many things I love in life that I do not get to do much anymore because of all the debilitating symptoms that I deal with day after day. So that's why today on our Adventures with Disabilities, I have to learn how to love my couch. Now, how does a person who likes to be outgoing and adventurous learn to love their couch? If you guys know the secret to that, link it in the comments below. Because I am still trying to learn how to love my couch when I'm having an off day. Yesterday was fantastic. My hip did start to hurt towards the end of the day from the motorcycle ride. But I was still feeling pretty all, pretty all right. I woke up today and... Nope. Today is... We'll just call it like it is. Today is not my day. Invisible illnesses. That's why you can't see me right now. Because I am dealing with MS. You cannot see it. But like I said, boy, can I feel it. And sometimes not only is MS an invisible disease, but sometimes... Us people living with the disease, we just want to be treated like everyday ordinary people. We don't want to be treated like we're different or we need extra help or we can't be as independent as we once were. <clears throat> and so sometimes we like that our disease multiple sclerosis is invisible because we don't like to take off the mask and show you the crappy sides of living with a disease that causes disability. So sometimes <clears throat> we like to hide ourselves from the world. We don't want the world to see the bad parts and the bad sides of living with multiple sclerosis. But I am taking off the mask today on our adventure because I want you to see the effects of what multiple sclerosis can do to a person. Hmm. Here it is, guys. I'm taking off the mask for you. I am in old, like, winter pajamas. I am in a blanket. And I am chilling on my couch. I am on my couch today, and although I had a rad awesome fun adventure with all my cousins yesterday, I'm not going to get to have that adventure today, because I 
feel like crap. And by the way, if my cousin is watching this, I love you, you're rad, you're awesome, and the motorcycle ride was fantastic. It was just what I needed yesterday. Even though I wear a helmet, the wind in my hair, the breeze, the smells, the sights I could see from the motorcycle, it reminded me of old times before I got multiple sclerosis. And honestly, it was freeing. And I know you were worried. You said, hey, look. I don't want your hip to start hurting. I don't want you to be feeling it the next day. If we go on this motorcycle ride, it was my husband and two of my cousins that went with us. And my cousin, he said, hey, if we do this, <clears throat> you only go as far as you can go. And then you guys turn around. Because he's like, hey, Ange, I, I don't want you feeling it the next day. Don't freaking worry. I just want to go out and live life and have fun and be adventurous and do all the things that the rest of you get to go out and do in the world. And you don't have to worry about the repercussions that happen the day after. I have to worry about that. But I don't want you to worry about that because there are days when I do feel good. And on those days, I want to go on adventures. And I know the repercussions of doing that. I am going to be like this the next day on my couch, in my pajamas, in a blanket, feeling freaking crummy. But for those few little moments that I get to go out and enjoy something, let me do it. Because it makes me feel free. And it makes me feel alive. And it gives me hope that maybe one day they'll cure multiple sclerosis. But until then, just that little bit of fun I got to go and have yesterday on our motorcycle adventure was all it took for me to wake up today and put a smile on my face. As crummy as I feel, I woke up today and I was like, you know what? I feel like garbage. But yesterday, I got to go have fun. And even though I don't get to go have fun today, those little moments where I get to go out and have adventures is all it takes to renew my hope that I can keep fighting the big bad MS monster. I can do this, guys. I'm not going to win every day. I felt like I was winning yesterday, but today I am not winning at all. And it's hard and it's a struggle and it's a pain in the butt y'all. And it sucks, royally sucks to be feeling like this today. Part of it's the weather. Part of it's I'm due to take my MS medication shot tomorrow and that slump week is kicking in. And the other part of it is I went out and had fun yesterday. Heck yeah, take that MS. I went out and had freaking fun yesterday. So do what you want to do today because yesterday was my day. Today, fine, have your day. But when I'm feeling better, it's going to be another day for me and I'm going to have another awesome adventure. Won't be today. As you see, I am on my couch, but coming up,
We're going to go on some more adventures, guys. And it's going to be freaking rad. But for today, since our adventure is taking us to the couch, I wanted to get on here and film what real life is living with a debilitating disease, multiple sclerosis, having two surgeries on the same freaking hip, having a back problem that you might need surgery for down the road later, having a bum shoulder that's torn, and just overall feeling like garbage because of MS. The world needs to see. The mask needs to come off. People need to see real life living with a disease. It's hard to show that. It's hard to share that with the world. I mean, you just want, I mean, honestly, one, you just want to be a normal person. You just want to go out there and work, enjoy life. And be like everybody else that's super productive. And when you have days that you can't be productive at all because you feel like crap, you don't want to show the world that side of you. As humans, we want to show the world that we're making it in life. And that we are perfect. And then we've got life all figured out and put together. That's nonsense, guys. And I'm here to show you with my vulnerability of opening myself up to the world and sharing the negative sides of living with a disease that it is okay to not be okay some days. It is okay to have a day. And if the day isn't fantastic, that's okay. You just deal with that day and keep having hope for the next day to get better. And if the next day doesn't get better, you keep trying. Just trying a little bit that you can do. For me, today, this is my goal. This is what I'm trying. Keep smiling. Because that's about the only thing I can do today. My smile hasn't been taken away from me, guys. But today, if you'll see, most everything else has. As I'm chilling in my pajamas on my couch. Yep, chilling in my pajamas on my couch. Real life over here. And on this channel, you're going to see a lot of fun adventures happening. But you're also going to see the other side of things. The side of things where a lot of us like to hide it from you. We don't want people to see us feeling like this. We want to show people the best sides of ourselves. But the reality of being alive is not always going to show your best side. It's going to show days like I'm having today. Yesterday was perfect. Beautiful weather, beautiful me, I felt great. And I got one day yesterday to have fun. And now today, back to reality, my disease has kicked in and I am feeling crummy. But I want to share with the world that that's okay. You guys, it's okay to have a day. It's okay if you don't feel right. It's okay if you're struggling at something 
and you're not where you want to be. It really is okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. If you're having a day like me and you feel like crap, don't beat yourself up over it. Have that day. Take the time you need to recover. And always know that no matter what you're going through, this channel understands you. We feel you. We get every part of living with a disability. I've seen a lot of stuff since getting a disease. And one of the things I've seen since getting a disease is for some reason, as humans, we feel like, feel like we've always got to put our best foot forward for the world. We have to showcase the glamorous parts of our life. We can't let people see in us having a day. Oh, no. We can only show people the best of us. And it makes us all feel super inadequate. Because we see someone else out there. And they're making goals. Their dreams are coming alive. They're touring the world. They're doing all these unimaginable things that we would dream of doing. That we don't get to do. We feel weak. We feel like we can't measure up. And we feel like we are failures. Because we can't do what they can do. But don't forget, whether you can do it or not, just being alive and breathing and waking up each day to another day, that means you are enough. You are enough, guys. We are all enough. Just by being alive, it is enough. Well, hope you enjoyed our lovely adventure to the couch. I am going to bid you farewell. And until next time, guys, when we go on an adventure, because one is coming around the corner soon. Until then, put a smile on your face. Find some hope. Even just a small glimmer of hope. Don't give up. Don't give up, guys. Keep on living. Keep on trying. You know what? I may never, ever achieve my dream. My dream was to have kids, have a career, live a full life, travel the world. And if you ask me today, that's never coming true. And that's okay. I'm actually fully okay with that. Because my purpose on life is something greater than myself. And my purpose on life is to help you to not give up and to keep going and to keep trying. So like I just said, guys, let me remind you. Yep, put that cheesy grin on. Have a day if you have to have a day, but don't give up. Keep trying. Till next time, guys. Peace out. See you later. And I'm going to high five you out of here because uh, my day sucks and your day might suck. But even if it doesn't suck. Let's make you have a better day. Ready, guys? Three, two, one. High five. Until next time, high five. Come on, guys. Don't give up. I'm going to send over some of my magic your way by high-fiving you out of here. High five.